flying, flying away. If you are a bird, this is not a difficult thing. You can just fly away whenever you need to. You've got the wings, you've got the wind, and you can just fly to your heart's desire. Today, I'd like to tell you the story of a Greek character and how he is like a person with a chronic disease who has to take a certain thing that we know too well. So this man's name was Daedalus, or his name is also called Daedalus. You might know him as the crazy inventor who came up with the brilliant idea to have a labyrinth. There was a half bull, half man, dangerous creature called a minotaur terrorizing the city. Happened to be the queen's son, but you know, somebody had to do something about it. So the king asked Daedalus to invent this magical maze, the labyrinth. And so he invented it and he put, they put this half man, half bull in there and the city was safe on the island of Crete by Greece. And then the king didn't like something that Daedalus did, and so he threw Daedalus and his son Icarus into the labyrinth. Now that's rude because there's this rampaging bull in the labyrinth. So then what? The king controls his ability to leave the labyrinth by land and then Crete is an island and the king controls all the ships coming and going and there's no islands near Crete so it's not like he could swim out if he somehow got out of the labyrinth so what was Daedalus to do he slowly collected feathers from the birds that flew by and he collected wax from the candles and he used the strings from their clothes to make wings. And he taught himself how to fly. And then he made an extra pair of wings for his son Icarus. And they practiced in secret. And then one day, they made a go. They decided it's time to leave. And they flew out of the island of Crete, got free of the labyrinth and it was a miracle because no one had ever flown before and before they left Icarus was told by Daedalus now don't fly too high or the sun might melt the wax on your wings and if you fly too low too near the water the sea foam might soak your feathers and you won't be able to fly anymore well they got kind of far. They flew past an island or two. And Icarus got kind of, kind of distracted. He forgot what was important. And he flew too high. He flew towards the sun. And he was having so much fun flying toward the sun. And he didn't notice that the wax on his wings was melting. And that the feathers were no longer able to be flapped. And so he crashed down, down, down into the water and he drowned. And Daedalus was just up there flying, flapping his wings, watching his own son drown. And there was nothing he could do about it. And he felt terrible. So how does that have anything to do with Moonface? Well... I submit to you that being in a labyrinth with a rampaging bull is kind of like having a chronic illness because you feel like you have no options. You can't go by land, you can't go by sea, and there's something that's about to kill you, right? And so then you want to do something, and so this miracle, your doctor says, I've got this thing for you. 
It's this little white pill. I'm going to give it to you and you're going to be okay. You're going to get out of that labyrinth and you will finally be free of the pain, of the kidney problems, of the breathing problems, of the bleeding problems like me. And it'll get you out of this labyrinth, this miserable prison that you're in. So then you fly out and you're feeling great at first. That first week or so on that treatment, you've got euphoria, you've got energy, you finally feel well enough to do something, anything. And you just go and you've got all that energy and you fly and you fly. And if you're not careful, you might fly too high close to the sun and melt your wings. And so the important thing with Moon Face Maker, you know what I'm talking about, is that we stay right at the correct dose, that we don't go too high or too low because if we go too low, too fast, that sea foam is going to soak our wings and we will crash. So that is why we always taper. That is why we never go too fast down in doses. That's why we um, take precautions for what side effects we might experience. And so if you have side effects that you are concerned about or you want to know what to look out for, I created a wellness checklist and you can get it at, um, if you click below, you'll see where to go. And signing off as Dr. Megan.